Say what you want about the oneness of the universe and the bonds of rearranged atoms. I was a log and a bug and a cloud and a little ceramic sheep. And all those atoms broke down and eventually reassembled themselves into me. It's just not a practical theory. Interesting maybe, but it's not practical. The whole thing just falls apart when you try to manipulate it. You think you've got something on that sheep just because you know you exist? Bullshit. Bullshit, because listen, if all of your atoms and all of those atoms are the same, then that sheep is just as capable of manipulating you as the other way around. Telekinesis. Who says telekinesis requires intent anyway? That's where you're going wrong, you know. There is no intent, only fate. By your own ridiculous logic, it's fated. Atoms break down and reassemble themselves. But as soon as you add the dimension of time, you can't escape the concept of fate. The past of all of your atoms, and all the atoms of that sheep, have led to this moment of existence in time and space. By default, this moment has been fated. You think you could change that? You think you can change fate? You, with all of your human insecurities and arrogance, think that you can alter the universe, armed only with your intentions? That doesn't even factor in the psychoanalytic part of it. Do you stop to ask yourself why you chose a sheep figurine that Rachel gave you? Out of all of your shit, you picked an artifact of your emotional past. Why? Because you're human. Do the building blocks of the universe give a shit that your ex is a psycho? No. But you certainly do. I do. Do you want some cereal? My point is that you're human. It's not your fault, but it does put you at a significant disadvantage for understanding the universe. I know you still think about her. She's still the background on your phone? She is, isn't she? Dude. She's a bitch. Forget her. Seriously, come out with us. Come out to Vix. Everybody asks about you. At least take a shower. There's another hypocrisy for you. Hygiene. I mean, thank God for soap, but it stems from a fear of mortality, which completely contradicts the atomic reassembly theory. Oh my God. Is that why you're doing this? because you're afraid to die? Are you so afraid to die that you feel the need to sit here and stare at a sheep instead of living? You are so terrified of being forgotten. Rather than go out and find another job or get another girl or climb Mount Everest or do some dishes, you feel the need to sit here and stare with aimless intent at a fucking sheep that is never gonna fucking move. It's a lamb.